Now there are two, how do you display these sets? What are the ways in which you say articulate or express a set? There are two major ways of uh, displaying. We have the roster form, which is also called the braces form. It is another name is called the listing form of writing a set, wherein you actually write the name of the set, say A, and you write the elements one after the other, A, E, I, O, U. So this is the listing form. Similarly, if I'm talking about, say, the weekend days, so you actually write the weekend days, that is Saturday and Sunday, right? And suppose you say, uh, list the elements in the set, list the letters in the set of words in rows. So we write it as R, comma O, comma S, comma E. So we are actually listing down the elements. The same thing can be written in set builder or algebraic form. For example, A is nothing but a set of vowels. So we say it is a set of vowels in the alphabet, that is in the English alphabet. We can even write it this way. A is the set of all x's such that x is a vowel in the English alphabet. So you are writing it in the form of a description. So here we have b, b we can write it as say small b such that, such that can be written as a colon or a straight line, b is an odd number and B is we write it like this. B is greater than or equal to 1 or less than or equal to 11. So it's an odd number. So you're writing it in the descriptive form or the algebraic form or the set builder form in which the elements are not actually listed. You're giving a description which is put inside this. Similarly here, C is a set of even numbers between 1 to 12. We can say C is a set of all C's such that we can write it this way. C is a set of all say X's or C's such that X is a an even number. Yes. Between 1 and 13. So it's an even number between 1 and 13 or it is an even number greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to 12. So this is another way of writing. So these are the two ways. There is a listing method and the set builder or algebra form. So furthermore, let's see how we can do. Say for example, here we have an example. E is a set of all x's such that x square minus 3x plus 2 is 0. Or we say x such that x square minus 3x plus 2. So which are the elements in this? So if you solve this equation, if you see, it means, what actually does it mean? It means all the x's that satisfy this equation. So if you solve this, you get x square minus 2x minus x plus 2. This will give you, solving it, will give you x is 2 or x is 1. So the same descriptive form can be written it as 2 comma 1. Can we write it as 1 comma 2? Of course, why not? I did tell you that the order of elements in a set is not important. So, you can write this. So, this is the listing form of the same set builder form. Say, for example, x such that x is 4x minus 1, where x is greater than 5. So, you can take greater than 5, so you can take x as 6. In that case, 4x minus 1 would be 6. 4 are 24 minus 1. <clears throat> which is 23. You can even, since they have not told the type of numbers, you can even take rational numbers greater than 5 and substitute. So like that, it is going to be a large number. So you're going to write all these numbers like 23 and so on and so forth in this. So we have 23, 27 and 31 because they have considered, of course, that x is belongs to the set of natural numbers. They're considering all the natural numbers x which satisfies these equations where x should be greater than 5 and less than 9 that is 6, 7 and 8 are being considered so 4 into 6, 24 minus 1, 23, 4 into 7, 28 minus 1, 27, 4 into 8, 32 minus 1, 31. So again this is a listing form of the same set. So these are examples of how we can convert one form to the other. Okay.
Now let's take this small quiz just as a refresher. It is the set such that the set of all x's, it is a set of all x's such that each of these x's is greater than 0 and less than 6. So that means when, when x may be integral values, that means natural numbers or integers, in that case it is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So that means you are talking about the set containing these elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 which are integers and greater than 0 and less than 6. So among these, this is the correct answer. Option number B is the correct answer. Okay, <clears throat> then set 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 can be written as what? Each of these is an even number. So actually each of these can be written as 2x such that x could be greater than 0. No, if it is greater than 0, 0 would not feature. So it has to be greater than or equal to 0 because if you take 0 starting with 0, 2 into 0, 0. If you take x as 2, 2 into 2, 2 into 1. 2. If you take x as 2, 2 into 2, 4. So it has to be between 0 and also includes 6. So finally, if you take x as 6, you get 2 into 6, 12. So 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 can be represented by this particular set. It is a set of all two x's such that x is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 6. So this is what we have. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So among these, this is the right answer. Right. So this is another simple example. So that's what we have, what we got it. Furthermore, okay. Now we have what is called a simple explanation of an infinite set, finite set. Infinite set means when you try to list the elements there is no ending to it. For example, you say a set of particles of sand on the beach or even in a cup you have. If you keep collecting, you can't count. It never stops. Or if you take a particular small segment, we have a small segment. And if you say that uh, how many, the set of points in this particular segment is going to be infinite. But if I say set of natural numbers between 1 and 3, there is only 1, 2 or even between 1 and 100 or even between 1 and 1000, it is countable. So in such a case, we say that it is a finite set. And suppose it is a null set, we will be doing this more in detail. A null set is a set which has no element. Say for example, set of say uh, natural numbers such that greater than 3 and less than 4. So, there are numbers greater than 3, less than 4, but none of them is a natural number. Now, such a set is a null set because it doesn't have a single element in it. So, finite set, infinite set, null set, we got an idea. Now, let's see what we have. The set of cubes of natural numbers. Now, when you take natural numbers, natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and so on. So if you take the cubes, it will be 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, 216 and so on and so forth. So even the cubes of natural numbers, the set containing the cubes of natural numbers is also an infinite set because you can't, it never stops. It goes on listing, the listing goes on and on. So it is an infinite set. Then the next one says the set 2x such that each of these x is any positive rational number. Now there are an infinite number of positive rational numbers. So for each of these infinite positive rational numbers there exists one 2x. So even 2x is going to be an infinite set because if x, can, if x is listed it is infinite. So 2x will also be infinite. So even this is an infinite set. Then you have n. It is a cell of all n's n into n plus 1 by 2 so that n is a positive integer. Now again n is a positive integer starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If you substitute various values of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, the number of values that you get for n into n plus 1 by 2 is also infinite because each of these values of n gives a 
different value for n into n plus 1 by 2. So hence since n set of set n is an infinite set, the function n into n plus 1 by 2 is also an infinite set. So we have an infinite set here, infinite set here and infinite set here too. Right. So hence we have it that way. So these are all examples just to understand at a very very simple level what these things are.